interwebs, and thanks for tuning in to the official Surrender at 20 Weekly Recap. My name's Panzer, and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from Surrender at 20.net for the week of May 26, 2013. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. off the video with a little bit of good news. The TPA commemorative skin sale has been extended through 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, June 4th, 2013. Just as a reminder, this skin bundle is to celebrate the Season 2 League of Legends World Championship winners, the Taipei Assassins. The skins are made for the team winning composition of Oriana, Shen, Mundo, Nunu, and Asriel. You can pick them up for $7.50 RP each or receive a 25% discount by buying them as bundle. Last week we talked about two skins that popped up on the PVE, Woad King Darius and Justicar Aatrox, and this week we have some splash arts to accompany those in-game skins. Now keep in mind information from the public beta environment is highly tentative and subject to change, so since we got that little detail out of the way, check out the splash art. And for the rest of the video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics in League of Legends, which is visual upgrades. Every summoner, of course, has their own opinion on who should be next and why, but I've been pretty vocal for a while that I think it should be Sivir. AD Carry is one of my favorite roles to play, and Sivir is one of my favorite champions to play, especially if I have like a Soraka or a Tarek support, but the only downside of Sivir is that she looks like total shit in-game. Her only good skin is her pack skin, which I'm happy to have and it's all well and good, but it kind of sucks that her other skin are in my metaphorical closet collecting dust, especially Bandit Sivir who has my absolute favorite splash art in the entire game. Iron Silence confirmed this week that two of the champions Riot is working on relaunches for right now are Sivir and Scion. He also mentioned that these updates can take between 2 to 12 months to complete. Sivir is apparently moving along quite smoothly while Scion is proving to be a challenge. Now my understanding behind this is because Sivir is not getting a kit update but Scion is. Staying on the topic of Sivir, Iron Silas said he could not disclose too much information about her visual relaunch, but he did tell us quite a bit in the process. He said that they wanted Sivir to feel very like Arabian Nights, and then he followed that up by saying, think, battle, Jasmine, like the Disney princess. Riot, please. There was also a ton of talk about Sivir's boobs, and I'm not even kidding. The boob area is ripe for some interesting costuming and storytelling components. That's literally a quote. He went on to say that he felt that her bikini top was wasted real estate, and that it was much more important for her to have a powerful figure with kick-ass abs than to have cleavage all over the place. He went on to say that she was supposed to be kind of resemblant to Wonder Woman or Xena, which comes as no surprise because she has skins that sort of are reminiscent of those things, but he also said that a bare midriff is a must. Now another thing that I found interesting is that maybe her age has something to do with the fact that it sounds like Riot is going to keep her slightly more covered up. Iron Stylist said she was in her late 30s, which I found super surprising because I would have pegged her at a full decade younger. Now for the record, Iron Stylist is totally fine with cleavage, bustiness, whatever, as long as it's relevant to the character. This actually leads me right into today's question, which is what are your thoughts about boobs with regard to League of Legends characters? Great question, I know. While you're thinking about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. Thank you so much for watching the Surrender at 20 Weekly Recap. My name's Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please thumb up, comment below, and subscribe if you have not already. As always, everything I talked about today is linked to the information below. Be sure to check back next Sunday and every Sunday for future Surrender at 20 Weekly Recaps and to see if your comment is in our featured section. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. I love you all. You're in my heart, so I'll see you soon. Bye! And thank you so much for tuning in to the Surrender at 20 Weekly Recap. My name's what was that? It was really bad. I'm like pointing to someone over there. That's not good. It's not a good look.